for me, it's always really important to know the lyrics as well. Mm. How come? Uh, just for like the the syllables and the way it breaks down rhythmically and um, just for the feeling as well of the piece, like to make sure that you're playing it with some real, you know, connecting with the feel of the song on a more emotional mm. level. I think it's really important. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if, if you listen to the Beatles version of, of this song, say, it, it gives me chills when I, when I listen to it, you yeah. know? And if you're just thinking about G major, A minor, B minor, <laughs> like, that doesn't give me chills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the lyrics, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, at the moment I'm working on an Elliot Smith arrangement uh, of, a, of a tune called Waltz Number no. One. Mm -hmm. And again, that's one where that's instrumental. And um, to connect with it on this deeper level, I, I've got the lyrics to Waltz Number no. Two on a piece of paper in front of me constantly. So I can kind of get the feel for what the, the connection between the pieces would be. Interesting. And it's um, I find it really helps a lot that kind of approach it's funny i remember seeing some videos of bill frizzell when they were doing that john lennon record and he he had the same thing i remember seeing on his music stand he had all the lyrics just written out but he didn't have any music written out he just had the lyrics wow which i thought was really cool